What's up, LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a super exciting day. We're gonna be bidding on 2011 Porsche Turbo S. Very nice car. It's a Turbo S, so there's only so many left of them in this world, and it's low mile. So let's take a look and see exactly what we got. Check out this beauty. 2011, 43,000 miles, front end and left side damage. So let's do a 360 and take a look. It looks like a front end damage, something right here. Probably spun out or hit the guardrail or something. Rockers damage right here as well. Rear bumper ripped off. Spoiler is got some scrapes rear bumper got scrapes this side seems to be okay ceramic brakes and center lock so this is really nice let's take a look at the interior so black on black looks like airbag deployed most likely the seat belts as well nice interior back seats look really clean it's located in uh, washington seattle runs and drives good miles Actual value of the vehicle, 111,000. This is how much they paid off the owner. State Farm Insurance. So really a nice clean car overall. So if everything goes well, we should be able to buy it. And I'm not gonna go too crazy. Uh, my max bid gonna be 60,000 for this vehicle. So if we get lucky, we get lucky and we'll have a nice car to rebuild, so. Auction starts any minute and I'll show you guys the live auction and live auction starts right now and let's see what happens. I put 56 just in case. Let's see if somebody's going to overbid me or not. Come on, come on. Okay, it's going. So I'm still the highest bidder at 55. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 56, 50. Oh man, somebody overbidded me. Okay, we still got a little bit of room to go. Come on, come on, come on, 57,000, nobody takes it, woohoo, we won, it looks like we got ourselves a new build, woohoo, that's a pretty good price, 56 with some change, wow, I like it, so let's go and see exactly what we got. Porsche just arrived, man, this is a really nice clean car overall, but I was very mad when I got this car some genius decide to put a old bumper here's the picture they pretty much put thank you that you guys didn't put the old parts in the car but they put the old parts on the roof which is very very stupid of them the bumper was garbage anyways you can't even use anything from it they should have threw it away but like i said some genius decide to it would be a good idea just to tape it to the roof so this is what they did, created so much damage, pretty much the whole roof is scratched up like crazy. Wow, definitely have to be a genius to think of that kind of idea. But overall, the car just kind of got everywhere. It's a nice car, they're rare, uh, especially the Turbo S, and it's a 0 .2, 997.2 .2 with the upgraded tail lights. But this is a special car. I believe they only made like 2,000 of those. But let's do a quick walk around and I'll show you the rest of the car. So we'll start with the front end. Front end, fender is good. Headlight, unfortunately, has a little crack right here here this cooling system seems to be okay this frame rail got a little damage or no actually yeah a little frame damage right here front body got pushed in major frame damage right here as well on the corner and uh, center radiator got damaged and this radiator might be damaged but I could see some marks on it so we'll see what we're gonna do with that this fender is perfect, this headlight is perfect. No damage on the hood. This door is perfect. This quarter seems to be okay on top and little ding right here. A uh, little scrape on the bumper. And then everything seems to be okay up there. I haven't really looked. And then this bumper broke off, but I think bumper we could save unless we see some other surprises on it. And this quarter, well, we have to repaint it because of the scratches. And then little damage right here at the bottom on the rocker. And let's check out the interior. Interior, both seat belts deployed, airbag deployed, 
uh, passenger is perfect. So first thing what I want to do, I want to remove uh, front seat belts and rear seat belts. We're going to send them out, they're going to get reprogrammed and we're going to change a different color. So you guys going to have to stick around and find out what color that's going to be. So for now, let's pull the car inside, start taking everything apart and we'll go from there. Also, if you guys are new to this channel and you enjoyed this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe and turn your bell notification because we post new videos every week, new week, new video. Don't forget to like this video as well. So I got the Porsche inside of the shop so we could start working on it. And we're gonna start with the seat belts, like I said. So we gotta remove the front seat belts and also the rear seat belts. They're gonna be different color. So this should be fun. And also the steering wheel. I already got a new one, so we'll replace it right now. And this is what it looks like. So we'll start with the rear seat belts and then for the final we'll do the front and then we'll replace the airbag. Now we'll start with the back end and first I gotta remove this in order to remove those two panels. This is a boom box and then there's uh, I think one, two, three, four bolts. Very, very tight environment and I actually light. There's uh, one screw on each side and then this should come off. And always, always, don't forget to tag and bag. I promise it's a lot easier when you got everything under control. It's been a very long time since I worked on a 997. But I did a lot of those. I did GT3 conversions and a bunch of other stuff before I start YouTube. I did a lot of cars before I start YouTube. Okay, I think we could remove this, yep. Just slides out. I gotta remove those first. So this could slide out and I could remove it. So now it's supposed to just slide back. And then there's a couple wires that you gotta disconnect. Oh, just one wire. That's it. Well, yeah, this is a Bose surround system boombox for the back end. Ooh, pretty heavy too. So I removed the boombox, so now I could get you the side panels, and it's pretty easy. They're unclipped. See, they're already moving. Just gotta remove this lower seat, and it's on Velcro as well. Boom. So just remove the cushion, so now we could get you the side panel, and side panel pops out, it's already loose. You could see it, I just gotta remove this real quick, and I gotta remove this back cover as well, to get you this one. Let's see, those are some old school clips, they don't make those anymore, and then the sides just pop up Boom. and then there's one screw right here Phillips and then this comes off and this panel comes off so once you remove the cover you got one big bolt right here and the seat belt should come off Boom. And then I usually like to put the bolt back on so nothing gets lost. And then this cover is supposed to come up. And there is a bolt. So a little bolt right there is stashed away or a screw. No, that looks like a screw. So that's why you gotta remove this cover to get to that little guy. Just remove that screw and now this whole panel just comes off. I love working on Porsches. Same thing, very simple cars. Just gotta disconnect the speaker right here. Boom, and it's removed. And that's it, once you remove the cover, you got access to the front one. And I gotta pop this cover and I could remove the rear one. Boom, 
there it goes. But yeah, I love working on Porsches. Best cars ever. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, my favorite. I don't like Audi. Audi is the worst car, in my opinion, to work on. So that's why I st try to stay away from them. <laughs> uh, original everything. Looks like nobody ever removed this before. There's the boat, as you guys can see. Boom. And the rear seat belt is off. Let's remove the front one now. Some kind of a bracket holds the seat belt. And we'll put it back right away. And now we could remove the seat belt. Boom. And it's removed. We finished with the left side. Now we're gonna do the right side and repeat the same thing that we did. And this one actually completely locked. So yeah, gotta remove this one and the back one and we're done with this one for now. Ah. Boom. Once again, what you do kind of just yank on it and it comes up. Boom. You don't want to pull it, just kind of shake it around and those clips, they come off. Then don't forget to disconnect the speaker. Now we can get to the seat belt. Boom, the front seat belt removed. Gotta get to the rear one. And we're done. Who could guess what color it's gonna be? Please drop a comment. First one guesses what color it is. You're the man. <laughs> ah, gotta wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Ah, come on. Boom. Let me show you guys the clips. So those are uh, metal clips, so. Kind of got a wiggle, 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 and they come off. And now I could remove this one, the final seat belt. Wow, crazy. Just remove the last one and we're done with this one for now. And here's four of my seat belts. I'm gonna send them out to LD Solution. They're gonna rebuild them and change color and ship them back to me. So if you guys need their service, reach out and they'll take care of you. Almost forgot, I got an airbag for the steering wheel already. So let's replace that right now. And then we wait for the seat belts and we wait for the rest of the parts to come in and we'll start working on it. But let's check out this color. Under those uh, lights, LED lights, it's not like fully black, it's like black, bluish, metallic, really cool color. I haven't seen this color. And it's a Turbo S with ceramic brakes and center lock wheels. So this thing is pretty cool. I like it. You could make them really fast and I think later we'll do exhaust on it and maybe lower the car i don't know we'll see we'll see and here is my new airbag exactly the same one and this one's leather as well so super easy and simple to remove the airbag get a screwdriver and you find a little hole behind the steering wheel boom and it's out and sometimes those plugs would uh, get melted not in this case so we got lucky that's it, it's removed. If anybody needs this uh, Porsche airbag, I could just cut this off. Or if you guys want the host airbag for your man cave or whatever, you know, we could do a little giveaway. Drop a comment, hashtag Porsche, and that's gonna be your entrance to enter this giveaway steering bag. Just a thought, if you guys want it, I don't mind. Anyways, I'm gonna throw it away. So if you guys need one for your caveman, let me know. 
Okay, let's connect this back. Bada beam, bada boom. And we're good. Let's push the air bag back in there. That's it. Like nothing happened. Boom! And it's nice, the 997 doesn't have a knee airbag, so you don't have to replace anything at the bottom. Usually on 2013, 991, uh, they start making a knee airbag, and usually those are the two main airbag that deploys the steering wheel and the knee and the seat belt. So that's the only airbags deploy on the Porsche. That's it, airbag installed and looking good. And I also just put everything back together very nicely so nothing gets scratched or damaged. So right now what I want to do, I want to put the Porsche on the frame machine. We got to do some framework and also got to remove the radiators, all that stuff. So I'll do this, everything on the frame machine. Got the Porsche on the frame machine. First things first, I want to remove the headlights and then remove both sides uh, radiators completely. So this way I have uh, access to the frame rails. So this is where we at. I got to get to this frame rail. So I want to remove this uh, headlight, fender, and same with this side. So let's do this first. And then also I want to take everything apart from the trunk as well the front and we'll go from there let's disconnect the battery so we don't drain the battery and start stripping everything let's go next we're gonna remove the headlights and headlights man the best thing ever got a little tool like this and they just pop and that's it check it out boom And they're out and we're gonna do the same thing with this headlight unfortunately this headlight chipped a little bit the corner sucks because this is a expensive headlight very expensive headlight just took the front apart so next uh, I'm gonna start taking the side radiator I'm gonna try to remove this whole unit completely and then also I want to remove this fender as well and always as soon as you remove something put it in the bag major key oh, there it goes whole unit is removed wire is ripped as well boom okay just remove the radiator so next uh, I could remove the fender and fender couple bolts at the bottom and then bunch of bolts on top and couple on the side and it should come off and this is what it looks like Pretty nasty hit, kind of a sideways. So let's continue removing the fender and we'll go from there. there and the cooling system so this side is completely free and this is what it looks like I'm gonna have to do something about this uh, situation 
Yeah, that sucks. Kind of messed it up pretty good. We'll worry about that later. So for now, I want to remove the left side and do the same thing. Remove the fender, remove the cooling system, and free this whole corner. So this way, we could work on this frame rail as well because it got pushed in a little bit as well. And first things first, uh, we're gonna remove the fender liner. And same thing right away. Tag and bag everything. I made a separate bag for the right side and separate bag for the left side. been uh, went off-road or something full of dirt fender liner is removed so now I could get to the radiator and here's the radiator so it's holding on two bolts right here 13 and two bolts over there size 13 as well and it should just come off let's go let's do this That's it, radiators removed. Oop, don't fall buddy. Just removed the fender and the cooling system, so we're done with this side. Next, I wanna work on the reinforcement. I wanna remove all this as well and see what's going on, because it got pretty messed up. We're gonna need a new hose. And I'm gonna make a separate bag just for everything for the middle. Okay, I took everything apart, so not too bad at all. Uh, we're gonna order new parts and start working on it. Pretty much just need this upper piece and then new rocker panel. And this is all available. They have it at the local dealer. So I already placed the order. We should get this very shortly and we'll start working. So for now, we'll end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Subscribe, don't forget to like this video and I'll catch you guys in part two. Do свидания!